Hi folks, Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. Today we've got the 2014 Volkswagen Touareg TDI. Now of course TDI means turbo diesel and for this that means high miles per gallon in a luxury SUV. Now we're starting out right here in the shopping mall parking lot which is the place that a lot of people would think that a luxury SUV like this is right at home. But we're going to find out if it's just as at home out on the desert trails as it is right here in front of Nordstrom. And you know something? <laughs> It's going to be a shame getting this thing all dirty out in the trail, but you got to get it dirty to see if it's good. Our Touareg TDI Lux model is indeed very much at home here in the high rent shopping district with its rich Germanic style and attention to visual details. U-shaped LED daytime running lights add a jewel-like luster to its face that complements a good deal of chrome trim. Proportions are well balanced to the 19-inch wheels with no secret about its high ground clearance. Despite its decidedly SUV stance, the Touareg remains elegant enough to show up at your dinner party in or drop off at the valet without shame. The cabin of the Touareg is a sumptuous blend of Vienna leather and highly polished burl wood. The feel and aura is intoxicating and warm, a place which really feels welcoming after a long day of shopping. Heated power seats coddle you when it's cold, and memory settings bring them to your safe spot. The center stack features a touchscreen audio navigation system which, while fully featured, remains easy to use. It even allows passengers to search and program destinations while on the go, something many vehicles block. The climate control system also showed its beauty in simplicity as well as heating and cooling ability during our time with the Touareg. The panoramic glass roof on our Lux model also went a long way to creating a naturally lit environment that we enjoyed. Rear seats slide and recline, offering rear passengers every bit of comfort as the front. Legroom and headroom were never in short order. Well, it didn't take me long to get away from that shopping mall and out here on the highway headed to the hills. On freeways as well as windy mountain roads, the Touareg benefits from a fully independent front and rear suspension that belies its SUV profile and higher center of gravity. So on windy mountain roads here, I find that the steering is very linear. It's electric power steering, which a lot of times gets a bad rap, but I like the feel and the weight of this. It just has a nice, precise, progressive feel to it as you roll into corners. And the chassis so far on this less than smooth road is showing that it can actually keep things buttoned down pretty well. Up here on these mountain paved roads, I'm finding this thing to be a lot of fun to drive. It's just the handling is everything you'd expect from a German sedan, only it's an SUV. And how many SUVs can you say handle like a German sedan? Under the hood of our Touareg is Volkswagen's silky and smooth 3 liter turbo diesel V6. It's rated at 240 horsepower, which sounds mid pack, but it has an astounding 406 pound feet of torque. Delivered through a smooth shifting 8 speed automatic transmission, it provides launch pad acceleration in town and excellent hill climbing ability. Now as we're rolling down the highway here, one thing you might have noticed, or maybe you didn't notice, is the diesel engine sound. This diesel engine is very quiet, it's very smooth, and it's very refined. Um, the only time you really hear that diesel sound or feel it is at idle or when you're taking off from a stop and sometimes accelerating. But as we're rolling down this highway right here, it's no different than a gasoline vehicle. It's just quiet, it's smooth, and it's refined. Fuel economy is where the TDI really shines. It's rated at 20 miles per gallon city and 29 miles per gallon highway, exemplary numbers for a large luxury SUV. My experience with Volkswagen is that the EPA numbers they print on their window sticker tends to be pretty conservative and that means that more often than not you can actually do better in the real world than what it promises on that sticker. And in the case with this vehicle it says I can get about 22, 23 on average. Um, and what I've been seeing actually here is we've been averaging about 27 to 28 miles to the gallon on a combined cycle, which is a little bit of city, a little bit of highway. And, you know, when you consider that it's rated at 29 for the highway, being able to average almost that in all your driving is pretty good. 
At the halfway point to our destination, it was time to break out the cameras and shoot more photos of the Touareg before it got dirty. It's already clear this thing looks just as at home out here in the rugged surrounds as it does back at the mall. It was also a gratuitous opportunity to play with the power liftgate which can be operated in a number of ways from buttons inside the Touareg to those on the key fob as well as passing your foot under the rear bumper for radar activation. You know, I'm sitting here in the Touareg and I've got the engine running, just a nice soft purr, that idle is so smooth, and I'm looking around this interior and I'm just musing at how well put together it is. And what it really comes to is that this vehicle has a total feeling of quality. And at $55,000, it should. But you know, I test a lot of SUVs and there are a lot of SUVs I test that cost $55,000 or more that I've never gotten this feeling in. This vehicle just feels like it's well worth the money. From here it was time to leave the pavement and head into the gritty rugged desert to see how this SUV delivers on its promise for adventure and utility. Many luxury SUVs romance you with leather and creature comforts but let you down when the road gets rough. Our first stop was our off-road test area where we take the vehicle up and down some moderate challenges to see how well it articulates, tests its ground clearance as well as important traction abilities. So one of my favorite tests whenever we have an SUV is our one wheel up and one wheel down test and that's where we take the SUV up on a little spot we have here that gets one of the front wheels off the ground and one of the rear wheels off the ground or with very little traction and what that does is it tests the four wheel drive system's ability to get really good traction in a tight spot. Now this vehicle has an off-road mode. Now it's not a true locking robust off-road mode, but what it does is it gets the computer to be a little more aggressive with some of the traction control techniques that it has. So I'm going to put it in the off-road mode here with this console selector, and let's give it a shot. All right, we're going up, okay, we're going up, all right. Okay, we got a front wheel off the ground now, and the back wheel is just kind of hanging there. So now I'm going to put some fuel to it and see what happens. Off we go. It passes the test. The off-road mode also has another little trick which is kind of slick. It's hill descent control. So as we come around this thing here, I'm just taking my foot off the brake and we're going down a little bit of a steep hill here. And it just slows the vehicle down and uses the ABS to let it crawl. The road further into the mountains took us through the fabled Fish Creek Canyon of Arizona's Apache Trail. The scenery is reminiscent of the Grand Canyon, the road narrow and steep requiring the utmost in attention. The cliffs are unforgiving, but the vista is something to behold. Beyond this picturesque canyon lies miles of rutted and rough washboard roads which can be the great leveler of crossover SUVs. These vibration prone surfaces can make even the best of them shudder to their very nuts and bolts. The Touareg also shows its strength out here on the back roads. This is a washboard road which is usually a good test of a crossover SUV because they show you how solid the chassis really is. And in this case, the Touareg is just gliding down this washboard surface like a magic carpet. As we approached our summit destination, the Touareg TDI has by now well impressed with its on and off-road poise. It has passed the test many SUVs let us down on, and done so with a sense of class and drivability that outclasses even some costing more. Well folks, as you can see, the Volkswagen Touareg TDI made it from the shopping mall parking lot up here to the rarefied air of the high mountains without a hitch. And it did it with a total quality experience. That's interior, drivetrain, and of course, chassis dynamics. This thing is just an absolute joy to drive, and we got 28 miles to the gallon during our week. That's a combined average. So this week, we give it 5 out of 5 stars. I'm Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. I hope you enjoyed the ride. If you'd like a more detailed review and photo galleries, log on to activityvehicle.com.